Hello everyone and welcome to Out of the Short Box. I uh, wanted to uh, introduce our new show, new addition to uh, the Out of the Short Box podcast and it's called Into the Movies. Uh, so the Spider-Man, um, uh, the new Spider-Man trailer, uh, Far From Home, uh, was just released and I want to talk about it today because there is a few things if you're not huge comic fans you may not know about if you're a comic fan maybe you picked them up but I wanted to talk about the trailer a little bit and give you all a little bit of upcoming information so let's get into our favorite web slinger the Spider-Man 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 does whatever a spider can spins a web any size catches seeds just like flies look out here comes the Spider-Man Okay, so in the uh, Far From Home trailer, what I wanted to talk about today and kind of give you all a little bit of tidbit, I'm really excited. Um, now, most of you all know that Mysterio is going to be the main bad guy. That was leaked out months ago. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is going to be playing Mysterio, which is an awesome thing. What a great time to be alive, especially for my generation, to see some of our older heroes um, just really come to life. Um, Kevin Smith, uh, who I'm a huge fanboy of and uh, have had the pleasure of meeting Kevin, he goes nuts over this fact, and, and I do too, because it's so cool to see these characters that we grew up with, that we know, that we read, that we saw, never imagining that they would be able to be seen on the big screen, and now we're being able to see them in the big screen in Mysterio. It is a tough character. If we didn't have uh, the CGI, the special effects that we have today, Mysterio would be pretty much almost impossible to get done correctly uh, based on the comic book. So it's so cool uh, to, to see that. So Mysterio, of course, everyone knew. And uh, you saw Mysterio uh, both without the fishbowl helmet and with the fishbowl helmet. So glad they decided to keep the fishbowl helmet. Um, so So glad that these current comic book movies are going back to actually doing the original um, the original costumes, the original ways they were drawn in the comic book. It's so awesome to see that. It's so cool to see that. I mean, yeah, they're updating them. Uh, you know, they're making them a little bit more current. Uh, but, you know, I remember when the, f I think it was the first X-Men movie came out, you know, they did the whole uh, joke about, you know, the uniforms. And they were like, well, what did you expect us to wear? Yellow leotard and stuff like that, you know, with Wolverine and everything. Uh, but, you know, part of the love of a comic book fan is to see those. We loved that that artistry. We loved what made that character character. And uh, Far From Home, they've already hit it dead on with uh, Mysterio. Um, and like I said, so cool to see the fishbowl helmet. But there is actually two more um, two more characters that I wanted to hit on. Uh, some of you all may not realize that they're actually um, bad guys in the... Um, in the Spider-Verse, in, in Far From Home, it looks like Molten Man and Hydro Man are both making an appearance. So, again, watch the trailer and you'll see both of them. But I wanted to give you a little bit of... Uh, 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 of the history of them. So, um, you know, the trailer's dropped and it's revealed um, some of these uh, villains and it's Molten Man. So, and most comic book fans will tell you they usually know the comic book numbers when certain bad guys were introduced or certain heroes were introduced. You know, they, they know that Deadpool was released in New Mutants, you know, um, you know, Amazing Fantasy 15, you know, was where Spider-Man was introduced, you know, so, you know, you'll hear these type of, you know, Tech Comics number 27 is the first edition of Batman, you know, so you, you start hearing, you know, comic book fans mentioning these, and, and one of the most, um, with the, the Amazing Spider-Man was, was Scorpion. Scorpion is such a popular villain as well. You know, you'll hear fans of Spider-Man saying, oh yeah, well that was issue number 29. Well, what they forget is what happened in number 28. And number 28 is where we had Molten Man. So, um, he's a, a fire creature. Um, he was created by Stan uh, Lee, of course, and Steve Ditko, who drew, drew him, and it was in 1965. Um, his alter ego was Mark Raxton, and he was a scientist who stole this liquid alloy and um of course you know spider-man goes in to try to save the day to stop him from stealing the liquid so he got in a fight when he got in the fight the alloy spilled over all over um, mark raxton uh, his skin absorbed it and he turned into molten gold um 
So the liquid gave him superhuman strength, durability, endurance. Uh, he was able to uh, uh, project radiation, uh, and he was able to do heat, and he, he be became the Molten Man. So, And that's that fire creature you see for a little bit in the trailer. Like I said, it wasn't a whole lot of time, but you, you see him in there um, as well. So we're going to have Molten Man show up um, and, and far from uh, far from home. So if if they keep with the original backstory, it'll, again his alter ego was named uh, Mark Raxton. So I'd like to see uh, what they're going to do with there. So and then we had Hydra Man who came later on in in Spider Man. It was uh, Spider Man issue number two twelve. Um, and it was created by uh, Denny O'Neill and John Romita Jr., which John Romita Jr. is a very famous uh, artist when it came to the Spider-Man comic books. He had one of the greatest runs um, with there. So um, Hydra Man was actually created during a battle uh, in the comic books between uh, Spider-Man and Namor. So this, this interested me because I think they're going to do a different backstory with it, especially with Mysterio being there. So they're probably going to have Hydra Man be created somehow with Mysterio because when I saw the trailer, I seen that. But in the comic book, uh, it was a fight between Namor, the Submariner, and Spider-Man. Um, his alter ego was a man named uh, Morris Bench. He was knocked overboard, um, and he was exposed to this bacteria, and, and it was a generator that was being tested in the ocean. Um, and, of course, you know, since all this happened and he was knocked overboard, he blamed, he blamed Spider-Man for it and for his mutation, and, of course, they fought back in there. So those are just uh, a couple uh, just little tidbits I wanted to give you guys so um, watch the Far From Home trailer and you'll see what I'm talking about very excited uh, to see what's happening uh, with Far From Home so um, I'll be releasing another podcast probably later on uh, today but uh, just wanted to give that so very excited for Spider-Man Molten Man, Hydra Man and Mysterio, going to be awesome so check it out, until then uh, this is out of the short box and I'll catch you later